Report brought to you with the compliments of the Republic Bank. We're the one for you. More and more local businesses are relying on a mobile platform, and Cable and Wireless Business intends to capitalize on this growing trend. This is according to the company's new vice president, Jensen Sylvester, who says businesses are using the mobile option more to market, sell, and interact with customers. So mobile for us is a big push in terms of how do we uh, leverage our network, uh, our wireless and wired network, to help our customers move their businesses forward using uh, mobile technology. And that is not, uh, you know, you can't leverage that um, opportunity unless you have a population that's well connected already. A new executive director has been appointed at the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry. He is Carlos Wharton. He will be succeeding Lisa Gill, who will demit office at the end of this month after spending seven years at the chamber. Mr. Wharton, a seasoned international trade and development specialist, has over 15 years' experience working in both the public and private sectors. President Eddie Abed, in welcoming Mr. Wharton, indicated that given his wealth of experience, the Chamber looks forward to working with him as the BCCI continues to play a critical role in advocacy, trade facilitation, policy formulation, and the development of its members. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded here and across the region. In Jamaica, Cable and Wireless Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 4,079,487 units. In Trinidad and Tobago, Scotia Investments Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 116,579 shares changing hands, all for a value of $255,308.01. And here in Barbados, the Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited was the volume leader, trading 22,200 shares at $3.80 each.